Hey family, good morning. How you guys doing today? So, uh, ooh, I really need to wash my hair so, so badly, but I am about to go and pick up my groceries because I'm doing curbside again today because last time it was super um, convenient to just go and pick up my groceries. You just don't understand how much time that's going to save me on the weekends to ha just have to to just have the ability to just go and pick up my groceries. So I get four pickups for free. So this one's going to be free as well. But there is a personal shopper fee of four dollars and ninety five cents, which is no big deal. So, um, yeah, on days when I really just have to get out and about, I'm definitely going to utilize it even beyond um, the free personal fees, uh, coupons that I have once I run out. But anyway, how you how you guys doing? I feel a lot better today. I do. I feel a lot better um, today. Actually, you know, I was feeling a little bit better um, the next day after this, you know, after the speaking gig. And it's been, you know, a few days since that particular speaking gig. So... I feel a whole lot better today. I'm still going to stick with it and, you know, get out there and do, you know, what I have to do. Um, but I'm not going to lie. Put me in the funk for a hot second. And no, I still haven't looked at the video as of yet. Um, as of right now, I have not edited um, that day's vlog. So at some point I will look at it. I guess I'll just look at the video once I edit that particular vlog. And um, also a friend of mine, best friend of mine sent me video too because she recorded it on her phone and she sent that to me too. And I haven't looked at that video either. So, but the pictures from the event look amazing. <laughs> I've downloaded a lot of pictures that people were posting on Facebook and it looks, you know, it looks amazing. Um, I look amazing. The crowd was amazing, all that good stuff. So, so yeah, I am ready to get out there. I um, booked a vendor gig. So there's an event that's going to be happening here in Houston in September at the NRG Stadium. And so uh, the vendor table was reasonable, was definitely affor very affordable. So I signed up for a vendor table uh, for that. Um, who knows if I like the event, maybe I reach out to speak at the event next year, you know, so I found out about the vendor opportunity. So I went ahead and jumped on that. So now I'm in preparation for, for that, um, uh, vendor gig because, um, of course I'm going to sell my books and the services that I provide, but I also want to substitute the AST kits for t-shirts. So I reached out to two t-shirt designers, um, and I'm just waiting for quotes and a mock-up of the t-shirt. One of the guys is going to actually give me a free t-shirt. Um, he said he'll text me tomorrow, um, and, uh, you know, give me a, a free t-shirt with the design that I want on it and all that good stuff. So hopefully I like it. I got a feeling that I'm not going to like that one, which is why I made sure to, to reach out to the second person that I reached out to. But, you know, we'll see. Um, we'll see. Uh, and then I found a place where I can buy t-shirts in bulk because he will, you know, just put the design on t-shirts that I provide him. So depending on what his prices are, I may just, it may, you know, behoove me to just buy my own t-shirts and then just give them to him to, to put the design on. But I'll, of course, I keep you guys posted on that. But yeah, so I got a friend who's doing a radio interview today. So I plan to try, you know, to listen to that radio interview for just a couple of minutes. I'm about to, because... I have an event that I'm going to today, so I won't be able to hear her whole interview, but I am going to try to at least catch five to ten minutes of it. Um, I should be able to shoot at the event that I'm attending today. If I can, I will. If not, then I'll just give you a little bit of a recap or maybe just post some pictures or something from it because um, I'm sure they'll let us take selfies. But video, I'm not quite sure about that just yet. So, yeah, man. 
we will see. So, yeah, let me go ahead and get my day started because I, I'm i not going to wash my hair until I come home from the event because I don't want to wear a wig today. I'm just not in a wig mood. So, I wash my hair after the event. It's only going to be a couple of hours. So, I'll come home and do that because I have a million and two things that I need to, to do today. Hold on one second. Let me show you guys this. So a while back, when I actually had somebody helping me out with the business, um, she ran across these, these binders at Target. These cute little binders at Target. And they're, they're only a dollar and 78. And so she bought 20 of them. Isn't that cute? Six ring binder. Isn't that cute? Right, they were on sale, so she found 20 of them and these, you know, cute little designs or whatever. So, I also reached out to somebody to see if um, she can customize the paper or the you know, the inserts to go inside of this binder, right? And you know, I'll sell it with my book so this can be like a little package that I put together you know for uh, for my book now this was something that I was thinking about per um, selling on my vendor table right but I think what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna create a um, workshop for on that topic that I spoke on I think I'm gonna create a workshop and incorporate this binder with the uh, with the workshop or whatever so I think I have another design. Hold on. Uh, and here's a design. Isn't that the cute? Aren't these like the cutest things ever? Right? So, I mean, these colors are close to my brand colors. Not exactly. You know, purple is not a part of it. This is a lot closer except for the green. But they're super cute. Right? Super cute. So, yeah, I think I'm like selling them on a vendor table because <clears throat> there's only 20 i probably do like a small workshop of only like 20 up to 20 guests and just you know so they can walk away with with these binders because the binder is the same size of my book which is perfect right same size as my book so it's like perfect so i think i'm gonna do a workshop that um correlates with my book and then you know they get a free copy of my book and they buy in the binder that correlates with the book so yeah so I found I reached out to two different um, designers to create the inserts on the inside and both of them said that they can do you know that they can do it so now I just need to work on my ideas for what I want to put into the book so I can get quotes or not as well. So yeah, a few things and I'm thinking maybe have this workshop sometime in the fall. You know, November seems to be a good day to have, I mean a good month to have workshops because I know last year there were so many workshops going on in, in November of last year. So maybe I should shoot for November. Yeah, maybe I should shoot for November. So we'll see. I got a million things a million ideas that I really just need to start on and yeah just uh get it done so yeah we'll see but our uh yeah man that's it for right now just wanted to share that with you guys let me know what you think about my little binders and making it into little notebooks for a small workshop of about 20 guests let me know what you think about that that correlates with my book manifest a courageous manifest a courageous life that was the name of my speech manifest your passion power and, pers and perseverance in 31 days you know let me let me know what you think so yeah man that's it let me go pick up my groceries and come back so I can get ready for my day. <laughs> we get better. We're better now. Um, yeah, so I pretty much can't answer that question because I just moved here. But it seems that there's a lot of food places everywhere and donut shops everywhere. <laughs> it's just so hard when I'm training and dieting for a show. So 
Which is why I haven't done one. <laughs> <laughs> born and raised here so that's mm -hmm. why um the brand has been here but actually we're probably getting ready to move to la so we're actually moving here yeah, just to expand the brand even more um but that's why we're in houston because we're, we live here we're from here so this is all home yeah same here i lived for a while um between college and grad school and whatnot but i came back about seven years ago and houston is my home and i've always known for us to be an unhealthy city mm -hmm. I know that because, like you said, there's restaurants everywhere. everywhere. That's, that's the culture. So Everything that you do is social, places. is eating. Yeah. Um, and so it's, it's, it's about learning how to balance, you know, your wants and your needs. You need to be living a healthy lifestyle as well as being able to indulge a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because because you have to have that, that balance so you don't feel deprived. So Houston is a perfect place to learn how to manage your health goals and um, be re realistic about it. And me personally, I also am from Houston and decided to, you know, continue my brand here. I actually, my corporate jobs have never been in Houston. I've been in LA, DC, New York, Chicago, but um, Houston has always been a city where I think no matter what your brand is, it's very open and welcoming to your particular brand that you may have. So that's, it's, it's why I decided to keep it here. So next question. Every week we see new studios popping up, whether it's on the street or on social media. <laughs> what should we people look for in a gym or studio? I'll start with you, Joy. Huh? Yeah, so I say go where you're comfortable and where it feels welcoming. Um, because when you're talking about, again, your fitness goals, and you make it into a lifestyle, you want to go somewhere where you feel like that's your home. Mm -hmm. I know for me, like when I'm working out, that's like my time to be by myself. I'm pushing toward my life goals. I'm thinking about my life goals as I'm pushing through my workout. So I want a place where I can kind of zone out a little bit and just be me, right? So when you're looking for a studio, you want to, you want to find that place where you're comfortable and you can just do, do whatever it is that you want to do. So like you said, your dance, your, your nighttime dance, you want to find something that's fun and interesting to you that's going to help keep you motivated to do your, your fitness goals. Hey family, so it is several hours later. Not quite dark, but it is getting dark and I'm sorry about the lighting because I am down to two light bulbs that did nothing. I'm down to two light bulbs in my overhead light and I just haven't asked Jeremy to switch out the bulbs just yet. So that's why it seems a little dark and dim, but work with a sister for a second. Um, yeah, we were gonna go to the movies to see Jurassic Park. But we wanted to catch an early show and all the shows were pretty much sold out. So the only thing that was left were late shows like 10, 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And we didn't, we didn't want to go to a late show. We want to go to an early show. So we're going to go to the movies tomorrow. But um, so now I am going to um, do my audio <sighs> because... I think I may have told you guys I hired a speaking coach and so they're going to put together marketing materials um, for the speaking part of my business like they're going to do a promo wheel a speaker wheel um, and a one sheet a speaking one sheet I've already have these things already together and put on my website because I did it myself however having a professional do it why not it came with the coaching services so I have a lot of stuff that I need to uh, put together and send over to them so they can put everything together nice and tightly neat in the little package and the audio is the last thing that I really need to put together so I want to record the first run of it um, to you guys and it's only supposed to be like 90 seconds so hopefully um, it's not more than the 90 seconds if it is not too much more than 90 seconds and yeah let me know what you think in the comment section below because i love to get you guys feedback so your sister coach an expert on women empowerment and personal development lakeisha is the founder and ceo of a sister's truth that educates women on how to discover define and live their truth for manifesting a courageous life without limits she's the author of 31 days of truth manifest your passion power and perseverance a guide for turning common life struggles and issues into triumphs lakeisha illustrates to her audience the importance of accepting their flaws for personal growth and happiness through transparency palatable takeaways and vibrant delivery. 
Lakeisha's uniqueness on women empowerment has been featured in Vogue Houston Magazine, Houston Press, City G Radio Network, and CB Nation. Lakeisha is the epitome of perseverance for her dedication to achieving an MBA, building a business, and becoming an author while transitioning from victim to survivor of sexual abuse. More importantly, Lakeisha knows how to inspire her audience to take action and believe in themselves despite the odds. So if you're looking for a speaker to captivate your audience, your search is here. Contact today, a minute and 36 seconds. So I did mess up, so I'm going to have to do it over again. Yeah, so what you guys think? What you think? Let me know in the comment section below. But anyway, that is it. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I've been, you know, chatty Kathy today. But I sure appreciate it. If you have any, have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If Tell me what you think about my audio. Let me know down in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.